watching from the UK. Guys, in today's video, I'm going to discuss an interesting new find in Antarctica. Um, I've not done a, one of these Antarctica videos for some time, but um, this new find is really interesting. So let's take a closer look. Okay, so as you can see, there's some really interesting structures here. Um, I'm not entirely sure what they are. I presume there's some kind of um, relating to some kind of man made activity um, for research purposes. But I've looked on a number of websites for coordinates of all known research stations in Antarctica, and this isn't listed. The closest one. I can find is a Norway research station which is some 200 miles away let me just get the so that's set in miles there, so we do that to there, 215 miles, and that's to Norway Troll Station. We'll just clear that off. As you can see, it's just your pretty standard Arctic research station there. See if we can get in any closer without it becoming too pixelated. Um, all the usual huts, warehouses, etc., some vehicles there. Um, just a bit closer up here. There's a runway somewhere around here. Can't actually see it now. Anyway, there is. Uh, oh, one second. Let me zoom out a bit. For there we go. There's a troll airfield. So, whether it's linked to something what the Norwegians are doing, it maybe is, I don't know. But uh, you've got to zoom in pretty far to actually be able to see it. So, let's just go in and take a closer look at what these could be. I'm slightly baffled, I, I honestly don't know. I mean, you can see some of them are emitting a strange red glow of light. Probably identification markers of some kind. Um, so they can be seen from the ground and the air. These obviously look like they, they look like something that's sort of partially buried under snow drift. Um can't be a hundred percent sure though. I mean and these look exactly the same. Um Let's just have a look at the distance. So if we start from that one there. So they span 1.15 miles in length. It's quite some distance. It's uh, by no means a smaller um, structure or set of individual structures. But if you look here, there appears to be some kind of what looks like an opening to an underground facility or a base that to me looks like some kind of door, a large door. Uh, again, let's just get the ruler on it and just see uh, if we change that to meters. So roughly 35 meters across. By 21 meters deep. In height, sorry. So that really is some size. Um, why would there need to be some kind of opening or a doorway that size in the middle of Antarctica? Now that is what begs the question. Um, I believe something at that size could be used to house aircraft or some kind of large machinery. Um, maybe some kind of experimental aircraft. Um, who knows? 
but it's a, it was a really interesting find. But I noticed as well, let's just spin it around, it's easier to spin it around this way. Seems to be You see here, one, two, three, four of these strange black objects here. And that seems to this seems to be sort of repeated again in a line going down, as you can see. Let's just measure them and the the end. I don't know what I can't make I, I just can't put my finger on what this actually is. It, they, I mean these things seem to go on for a, a long while. All the way down here. And they seem to end here. Let's see if we can get some kind of marker and see how far these actually go on for. So put that in miles again. So we'll start there. All the way up to here. So again they go on for 1.25 miles. So that is again it's quite some distance. It's like marking some kind of boundary maybe to a facility. Um, it really is a strange one and it, it really piqued my interest. Really did pique my interest. Let's just have a look at this door. This doorway or, or uh, opening or whatever you want to call it. But it really is it's strange. Um, I mean, if you guys have got any idea what these are supposed to be or who it belongs to, I'd really like to know. Um, there definitely appears to be some kind of structure underneath these objects, whatever they are. I mean, I mean, just look at that. There's a red light or some kind of red red discoloration coming from them. Um, they just seem to go on forever. Um, uh, I've got to admit, I'm pretty stumped on this one, but it's a really interesting find. So, once again, thanks for watching, guys. Your support really is appreciated. Take care, and I'll see you next time. Thank you.